welcome everyone today we are going to paint big green leaves with red hollies here i am taking a thinner brush thin round brush and using crimson color or red color and trying to make circular uh, hollies and as you can see i leave some white space so i'm not coloring it completely and i'm going in a circular motion with my brush after i am done with my hollies i'm going to take a bigger round brush and i have lots of water in this and i will use sap green and i dilute it highly with water and uh, that was my macbook telling me it's three o'clock <laughs> so, all right um, so I'm gonna make this very big giant green leaf and as you can see uh, the shape of this uh, it has pointed edges right so that's what I'm trying to do with the brush I make the edges first and then I'm trying to fill in the color this is very simple to do all you have to do is create the shape of the leaf with your sap green in the brush and it's not very dark it's a pretty light color and I'm gonna make one more leaf alongside so as you can see how I'm doing I'm going in a shape of shape of C so I go up then come down up and down so we get these pointy edges again I'm gonna fill it up with uh, the same sap green in the inside the leaf and now at this point when the leaves are still wet I want to give it some depth so it looks more dynamic I'm gonna take some darker green color and start adding it towards the edges but make sure that it's still wet the leaf is not completely dry so don't walk away when you are painting and you know don't stop doing just finish it so as and when it is wet so then only you will get this effect so as you can see I have added the dark green along with the edges and let the water do its own work you know watercolor have their own uh, nature and they bleed and they mix uh, with the background and it looks very beautiful so I'm gonna I'm gonna let it do its work I'm just going to add dark color and leave it like that after this I'm just going to wait for it to dry once it is completely dry I'm gonna take my thin brush and start adding the lines with the dark green color and that's the end of it that's how the end project looks looks like I hope you like it it's a very simple project uh, but you just have to remember at which stage you have to add the darker color and when you have to do the fine detailing thanks again for watching happy creating yeah but before I go let's see how I have added the fine details I've taken dark green in my thin brush and I'm going back adding the center line for the leaf and then trying to make it darker taking the brush from center towards the edges same thing and again I'm trying to make the corners a little bit darker and here uh, it's the shape has gone so I'm going to try to fix with my brush again I'm taking darker color and making the leaves darker towards the edges and again I'm going to take some darker color and uh, this is called glazing and I'm going to add that darker color uh, towards the top of my leaf with the same brush I'm going to start 
adding some more details towards the bottom of the leaf. And once again, I'm trying to darken those center parts where we have the most pigment in our leaf. In this other leaf I'm going to take the darker shade of green and paint the outer corners of the leaves that's pretty much it this is the completed dried project as you can see um, you have different shades in the leaf the light is reflecting on it how uh, you see there are spots and you know it doesn't look same shade all over um, so I just wanted to give a lot of variation texture in the sleeve and that's what I've tried to, to show you hope you like it thank you bye bye